Hi, this is Michael with Carbon-Core.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to use our ceramic pourable transom compound to repair your damaged transom, get your boat out of the shop and back onto the water. This is a great product to use to get professional quality results at home. You can increase the resale value of your boat and take confidence in knowing that you've replaced your transom with the best compound money can buy. At Carbon Core, we formulated our compound with premium polyester resins and high strength ceramic spheres. This results in a high tensile and flexural strong product. It's seven times stronger in compression tests than plywood. Uh, so when you go to replace your transom, uh, you can feel secure in knowing that it's going to be about seven times stronger than it was. All right, so let's take a look at some of the tools we're going to need to do this job. First and foremost, safety glasses. Proper protective eyewear is essential when working with our compound and doing this type of work. Uh, next, you can mix this right from the pail. This is a metal pail, which uh, reduces permeability and uh, gives you a shelf life of up to a year from purchase. Um, you can mix it right in the pail. Uh, you know, this is just a standard. You can buy this tool uh, about 10 bucks anywhere. It's just a standard mixer, which we'll put in there, drill up after you add the catalyst. Now, this is the catalyst. It's very important to mix it at a proper uh, <clears throat> consistency and, and, and mix. This is 10.5 ounces of this catalyst to five gallon pail. So every five gallon pail that you purchase, you're going to need to get a 10.5 ounce measurement of the catalyst, which we also sell on our website, carbon-core.com. Again, uh, safety, pay, uh, safety gloves, very important to use. Uh, this is not good on your skin. Um, and when we ship it to you, here's what it looks like. It comes in a container just like this, uh, you know, marked up. It is a, this is a hazardous material. Um, but it's ground shipping. This is what it looked like as we ship it to you. Um, and a lot of times people will want to build a, a funnel to put inside of their transom themselves. Let me show you what that looks like. Yeah, so this is the uh, funnel. It's kind of like a jig that I made just a second ago. Pretty easy. You know, basically, you'll be able to pour straight from the pail directly into this, reduce some of the spillage. You set this right inside your transom. Maybe you'll have a support on either side. Uh, it's not necessary. But yeah, any old scrap wood you can use will help you definitely in the cleanup if you use something like this. All right, so what we have here is a mock-up of the transom of a boat. Now, they vary in terms of what they look like and the dimensions. Uh, but generally speaking, most, uh, most transoms will have an inch and a half gap here. Uh, so we've taken the inside skin off. Now our competitors will tell you a good way to get the old uh, rotted plywood out of here is to get a chainsaw in and just go, go to town like that. That's very dangerous. And what we recommend is to cut along the inside seam here, however it is. You can always um, fiberglass that in later. The reason we suggest doing the inside skin versus the outside skin is because there's if you can keep this outside skin as unblemished as possible, you won't have to spend extra time finishing it. And on the inside, it's easier to get a workable material uh, and a nice finish for the inside than it is for the outside. So we've taken this front skin off and uh, I can show you the process. We're going to go ahead and put fiberglass to get our primary bond down. Um, after that is done drying and after we get that finished, We'll put this back on here and we'll show you how to pour. So we just got done fiberglassing the inside skin of our transom here. Um, now when you do it, you're definitely going to want to make sure the holes and the cracks are sealed. Uh, this mixture is uh, the consistency of about a milkshake. You know, it, it, if you can't remove all the splinters of the old plywood, that's okay. This the product will envelop it and get around it and it will... Um, be able to form a bond around those things supposing you didn't get it all out now however uh, it, it does need to be completely dry so if you need to let it air dry or wait out that's definitely a step to include this is the catalyst the MEKP catalyst and this is different than MEK you, you may think you have some lying around in the garage well that's not the case MEKP is the only thing you want to use so we're about to go ahead and mix this uh, and then go ahead and pour it now as you can see I've got my form set up 
Um, and a lot of times people will want to, uh, you know, say get a rubber mallet or a stick to poke and get some of the holes out. However, ours has a natural degasser in the ingredient and compound, so you don't have to worry about any of that. It will seek out any air bubbles and eliminate them itself. We've just opened the compound pail and we're going to mix 10.5 ounces of MEKP uh, catalyst into this. It's important to mix it well and mix it for about five minutes. Now he's going to be using this um, drill mixer right here, but it's very simple to do. Now as you do this, if you need to make up multiple batches or if you have more than one five gallon jug worth then it's important to remember to do one pail at a time yeah go ahead and pour Let's hold it there for a second All right, so it's been 24 hours since we did the pour. We went ahead and removed the facing. This was the fiberglass panel. This was the one we just took off. And as you can see, a lot of the fiber, it was hard to get this off of the plywood because it bonded to the plywood. Uh, you know, so if any bits of plywood are left in your old transom, it's a good idea to get all those out. But if you can't get them all out, they will be right here. Now, we're going to hit with a sledgehammer, show you how strong it is. We're going to drill into it. It cures within two hours, you'll be able to drill into it. Um, 24 hours later, it's ready to be on the water and your, and your boat's ready to be on the water. 30 days after that, it's fully and completely cured. Uh, so let's get right to it. All right, so let's check it out, see how strong it is. I'm gonna slam this, give it some heft to it with the sledgehammer, and we'll check it out. solid. Alright, so we're going to take a drill to it. I want to show you what it looks like drilling through. Um, it's been 24 hours, but you can begin the drill process after two hours. All right, so here we have an actual transom cut out of a watercraft boat. Uh, this will be the outside here. This is the inside skin, and this is our ceramic pourable compound. When we were actually cutting this out, you can see it, uh, it's so strong it had a hard time um, cutting through, and the blade was actually dulled on it. From all of us here at Carbon Core, we want to say thank you for watching our video. Hopefully you found it informative. And just a couple things. We believe that our ceramic portable transom compound is the best product money can buy. It is uh, stronger, more durable, and more long-lasting than Kusa board or plywood. Um, and generally speaking, it's probably going to be the thing that outlasts the, your boat more than anything else. Uh, you're able to upgrade engines, uh, knowing that you have a stronger transom in place. And uh, some transoms come with different s slopes and dips and shapes. And they come in all shapes and sizes, but the advantage of using a liquid transom is that it will get into all those grooves and uh, you know if you're a DIY boat enthusiast and you're doing it yourself um, this is the best product for you to use it'll save you time in dealing with different cutouts of plywood or kuza board you'll use less material because you'll be able to order the exact amount that your transom has and uh, you'll you'll have replaced it with the best quality so thank you very much